Hey there, my name is Shane Craddock and this is the Inner Edge podcast where I share a different take on how to lead and live a sustainable high performance life. Over the course of different episodes, I'm going to challenge the belief that tension, stress and struggle are essential to success and creativity. My experience is that there's an easier way, there's a better way and indeed there's an essential way that we need to explore for the times that we live in. So let's go ahead, let's jump in and explore. Hi there. Uh, Today, I would like to explore uh, something that I first came across over, I would say, 25 years ago, but uh, while it made an impact on me then, I didn't really understand the layers and the real depth to the insight. Um, And if if you can really kind of drill into it a little bit and sit with, I suppose, what we're going to talk about today, which is the inner side of your energy, um, my experience is that is that can be it can be literally transformational, and that word is kind of bandied about a lot now. Um, but I, I genuinely would use that word because I think it's true. Um, and I think what al- what also is true is that it's impossible to be at your best if your inner energy isn't right. Your inner energy. So let's let's drill a little bit into this today. And now, when you talk about energy. And I was only talking to a guy yesterday about his energy. I thought he was exhausted. He didn't think he was, which is not uncommon. But most people will think about their physical energy. Now, obviously, they are interconnected. But most people, in terms of energy, will think about the about physical exercise, you know, being fit, which definitely makes a difference, um, or even sleep. But if you're off inside, and I know people who, who have been like this when I've met them where... You could be very fit, like really fit, um, maybe have no body fat almost, like really you can see the six pack and they look great. Um, but maybe their sleep is off and maybe they've got stomach ulcers and they don't seem to perhaps see the link to the inner side. And I'm thinking about uh, somebody that I met a few years ago now who, who literally had the most amazing diet and routine I probably have ever come across. They were like like a top, top, top athlete, but they were an entrepreneur. But he wasn't at his best. And when we got into it, it was because, really because of mental interference that was going on inside him. And when that happens, which is understandable, if you don't really understand the inner side of managing yourself, um, well, then it's inevitable. Um, I was at an event a couple of months ago where there was a business owner throwing out a problem to the to a room of other business owners and he was putting out a problem that he was trying to get input on to help their experience to help him solve it but i i guess probably from my own experience working with clients over the last 20 years and just in terms of dealing with shane which isn't always the easiest thing i can tell you right <laughs> um i saw something else and somebody else in the room did too without us talking to them and they asked a question which was, hey, uh, you know, I hear what you're saying about the problem, but um, h- how, how tired are you? And initially the person was confused. The person answering the question was confused, as you'd understand, and said, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of fine. And then I picked up on it and went, look, I, we kind of drilled into it a little bit. And I asked him, out of 10, if 10 is you at your best, and it your energy, and zero is your worst, where, where do you think you are? And he said, well, I'm at a, I don't know, maybe a six or seven. And I said to him, I said, look, I think, uh, I think you're, you've probably been tired for so long that you've normalized your tiredness, which is a really common thing for um, ambitious business people. It's very common that you kind of get so tired, you normalize, you forget actually what the seven is really like or meant to be or even a 10. So I said, look, I said, I, I, forgive me, I said, but from my perspective, you're at, you're at a two or a three. You're actually on the edge of burnout. And you don't seem to realize it. And that's dangerous now because if you're that way at the moment, it means that you're you're not going to make good decisions. You're not going to think clearly. You're focusing on the wrong problem. The, the, the number one problem right now is how do I get my energy back up? Now, he was very confused, very resistant, but you could see over the course of the rest of the conversation, he was was more open to it. And this happens quite a lot now, especially if you're a CEO or a business owner or just somebody who's ambitious and takes on, you know, key projects, the responsibilities, you're, you're trying to get on, you've got good goals. 
you can get tired without realizing it. And that's really a lot of it now is to do with your own inner awareness and your energy, but also the inner side to your energy. So brain fog, for example, which is becoming increasingly common, unfortunately, totally related to not managing the inner side of your energy. Now, with that person I talked about, he had a young family, hadn't had a proper holiday for a long time, and he hadn't really structured things with his, um, he was married with his wife. And, you know, even it was, a, it could be as simple as, listen, you go away for a night, I'll, I'll hold the fort with the kids, and then we'll take turns. So that at least, you know, we're, we're kind of getting a reset on the fly, or you go away for a couple of nights and I'll hold the fort. But they weren't doing that. They were just really going through the pain barrier together. And then everybody goes down together. So <clears throat> I think if you think about this in terms of your life, like would you like to get on a plane where you knew the pilot was absolutely sleep deprived and exhausted? I mean, that that is dangerous. And the airline industry, I think, works, as far as I know, quite hard to make sure that that doesn't happen. But you wouldn't want to be getting on the plane thinking, oh, yeah, no, that's great. This guy's exhausted. Well, let fingers crossed. Let's hope we get to the other side. I don't think that's going to be, too, <laughs> it wouldn't be too good for sales and for customer service and for your own mindset being on the plane. So why would you drive or fly the plane of your life exhausted? Now, listen, sometimes it'll happen. You just have to push through. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, suppose on a, on a chronic level that you normalize fatigue or tiredness or brain fog. Now, to, to help, I'll always talk to my clients, and I suppose I first came across this over 25 years through Stephen Covey, who has passed in the last couple of years, but he talked about the concept of um, sharpening the saw. And what he, what he was talking about was, okay, look, you know, if you've got a saw and it's blunt or rusted and you're trying to cut through you know, a trunk of a tree, it's going to be quite slow and very, very difficult. You have to use a lot of energy to kind of get through that action. Whereas if the, if the saw is sharpened, obviously it's going to be more effortless. It we'll probably won't take as long to do it. And there'll be a lot, of, lot less energy used up. And he was using that analogy to say, well, you're the saw. How sharp are you? And I totally buy into that. But what I hadn't realized or appreciated was the depth to which you can go. Now, at the time, um, he would break it down. He broke it down into four key elements, your physical, your mental, emotional, and spiritual. And I still use that as a framework today. But I suppose over the years, I've realized the subtlety and the absolute impact on the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual. My understanding of those three things in particular has completely changed. Initially, the low-hanging fruit, I think, is always on the physical. So whether it's any sort of exercise or even just walking, amazing the impact it can have on you inside. But then the mental obviously feeds to the emotional and then the spiritual. And when I say spiritual, for me, I don't mean religious. I mean, anything that raises your spirits. And that could be as simple as going for a hike, uh, being out in nature, having time to reflect. But every one of those four elements, I guess, to me, has its own level of, it's its own battery. So there's a physical charge, there's a mental charge, there's an emotional charge, and there's a spiritual charge. And you can be strong on one or two, maybe even three. But if the fourth one is off, if one of those four is off, it will affect. And I think the inner side has a, probably the single biggest impact here because, you know, even if you're off um, inside or mentally, uh, I, I sometimes, I think the word inner is better because at least it encompasses the mental and the emotional and the spiritual. Obviously, they're all connected. And it is possible that you could be physically fit but exhausted all the time. I've been like that. I've met loads of people who've been like that. But why? And the reason being is because the mind is intrinsically linked. You know, the the... I guess you could say maybe the brain is the seat of the mind. Maybe it's the other way around, though, I wonder. Hmm. But then the body is intrinsically linked to the mind. So from my perspective, I would be encouraging anyone I know to be ruthless, in caps, ruthless, about your energy management. But in particular, the inner energy management. Most people will go into the physical. I think that's enough. Um. Maybe for you it is, but for most people I know it's not. And I would encourage you to keep drilling and exploring the inner side of this. And I think as a leader, the better you get at it, whether, and when I say leader, it could be you could be a business leader, but you could also be a parent uh, or an educator, or maybe you're involved in the community. 
if you can get better at this, then you can, then you've got more insight and experience to help other people too. Because most people really struggle with their energy if they're honest. They just think it's a price of modern life, um, and I would say that that's a myth. That's a false assumption. I used to believe the same thing. Uh, it's just we can we can improve our energy by reflecting and looking at our own personal model, and I think that four element framework, the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. If you get all four kind of battery charges right, it is incredible the difference that it will make to everything. But I think the single biggest impact that I would think that stands out to me is the impact it has on the quality of your thinking and the quality of your clarity of mind. Now, I don't do too much, but a little plug here for something that's coming up in a few weeks after this particular podcast goes out. Uh, it's my Mindshift program. You might have heard me talking about it before. It, it's eight weeks. It's done virtually, so you can do it from anywhere in the world. And we often have people tuning in the last time from the States and the UK. It's very manageable with your time. It's not too much of a commitment. It's great fun. But in, in the context of what I'm talking about here to do with your energy management, we get really into it. And you get a real insight into uh, how to experiment with it, experiment what works for you. You get loads of ideas and insights around that. And you work closely with me in a group context um, to do that. It's very effective, great results. And it's, a really, it's really a great opportunity uh, to step back and to overhaul not just your engine, your energy engine or the engine that drives the energy, but also your approach. Um, and there's lots of different things that will come out of in terms of improvements around your clarity, your focus. And it's not just energy. We impact on your time. We impact on leadership. So anyway, that's it. The details will be in the show notes. We kick off uh on the 4th of october 2022 this might be your time to jump with me so that's enough for that so here's a couple of questions for you ask somebody who will tell you the truth what they think your energy is really like like really like you know honestly i was talking to a guy yesterday and um, I've been asked to just have a conversation with him, business owner, very busy, young family, et cetera. And I was asking about his energy and he said, no, yeah, no, I'm probably seven or eight. And I looked at him and said, man, you're like, you're out of four. Like I can see it in your face. You just look wrecked. But he thought he was fine. So who's going to tell you the truth? And then I'm going to say, well, look at yourself, ask yourself, are you avoiding reality? How do you really feel? Like, what is your energy like? How would you score each of those four areas, the physical, the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual battery levels? Or do you even know what they mean to you? What does the spiritual mean to you? I'm very clear for me what it means. And I think I've come to realize that perhaps for me, for me anyway, it, perhaps the most important charge this is my, spirit, my spiritual charge. It's not for discussion today, perhaps a different episode. A um, little point as well for you here is that if you like some of the content you're hearing on these podcasts, why don't you join me on my mailing list? I don't bombard you. I have been bombarded. I've been a bombardee, I guess. Um, but I'm a survivor now from that. Um, <laughs> I send out one, maybe two emails a week. But every Monday, there's a, an email in your inbox for a little bit of inspiration to be designed to be read in less than 60 seconds. Plus, you get a lot of free goodies. And occasionally, I, I get the generosity uh, bug and I send out different things for free if you're on it you'll also hear of whatever I'm up to and whatever's coming up that might be of interest so check it out Shane Craddock C-R-A-D 1-D dot com so in conclusion I hope today you got some food for thought because there's definitely way more to your energy than just being physically fit and I would encourage you to explore the inner side to your energy the mental, the, mo the emotional, and the spiritual. That's it. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.